What is going on everybody? I'm super excited to do this video today. Uh, this is a video that's a long time coming. Uh, it's about a game called Guild of Guardians. I've been talking about it a lot on my stream. Um, this is a game that I will be diving in on. I will be playing on stream. I will be very, very involved in. Um, it's a it's a mobile game. It's it's an action uh, RPG game, similar to like Diablo. Um, it actually looks a lot like um, I would say Minecraft Dungeons. If anybody's ever played Minecraft Dungeons, not Minecraft the game, but Minecraft Dungeons, it's a very similar look uh, to that. I've never played the game. I just saw some kind of, kind of the um, I saw some of the uh, leaked footage or the footage they've shown, and it really reminded me of that. The difference is this is a play to earn blockchain game. So there is money to be made, but there's also money to be spent. And I want to get into all that a little bit. You know, how much do you have to spend kind of to get back a little bit? Is it worth, you know, spending all this kind of money? How much does it cost to kind of invest? Um, I really, and again, I think there's a lot of potential in this game simply because one, it's on mobile. Everybody has phones. You know that meme, you know, when uh, Diablo, uh, you know, came out with their announcements and uh, everyone kind of booed them and said, oh, everyone has phones, right? Uh, everyone does have phones. And I, I personally am a mobile gamer. I love mobile games. I love games like Diablo. So to me, this is the perfect game for myself. Now, um, you will get a free character uh, by by playing. Now, this game is not released yet. I think Q1 of 2022, which is literally right now. Um, they're doing uh, alpha testing or they're going to start alpha testing. And then I think in Q3, there's going to be beta testing uh, and then, you know, future release, whatever. But, uh, you know, it's never too early to start looking into the game and looking at what you need to buy and what you need to have and what you need to get. Uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, the earlier you do get involved, uh, usually the better, because as it gets closer to game time, uh, a lot of the prices start spiking because people are like, oh, it's time to get in. I want to start investing. And then next thing you know, everything is two times, three times. So I'll tell you the things that I bought. I'll show you the things that I bought. Uh, I want to get into a whole bunch of different stuff. So I want to talk about, first thing I want to talk about is like the mythic guilds, okay? The different kind of guilds. There's like an adventurer's guild, which is basically like the, the minimal one. And then you can get up to the mythical guilds or mythic guilds, which are, um, you know, they're the big time ones. They're very, very expensive to buy. I don't remember how much it was. Uh, they were super expensive, okay? Now, there's only 10 of those, period. There's no more than that, 10 of them, period. And so you're going to see a lot of the big you know, uh, play to earn kind of guilds that are going to buy these and, and, and kind of, you know, hold those because they are very, very, very expensive. You can hold 50 members and all that stuff. So, uh, I know, uh, guilds like disciple, there was a guild called disciples of Cain. I, I don't, I'd never heard of them. I don't know if they've came together for this project. I've never heard of them, but they have one, uh, YGG, which is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, play to earn guilds. They have one or more than one. And, uh, Blackpool is another one that's gotten involved. So there are these, uh, these guilds that are, they're buying in. I don't know if merit's Circle, it's another uh, name. I don't know if they've bought in or not, but that's what I see the mythic guilds for is the, the, the big guilds are going to be buying those because they have a lot of members. They might have to buy one or two. Maybe they'll buy a mythic one for like their, their top players, their top earners, and then kind of buy the other ones kind of for everybody else because um, there is only 10 of those, period. So there's only 500 people uh, that are ever going to be uh, able to play in these or at least one time into these mythical guilds. So that's very, very, very important to know. And I think there's going to be requirements. You're probably going to have to have legendaries, so many or whatever. Uh, the energy boosters, which I will be getting into. I think that's going to be key, key, key stuff. So this is an action uh, RPG, RPG game, similar to like Diablo and like I said, Minecraft Dungeons. Um, Again, I love that stuff. Dungeon crawling—you know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna kill monsters, and you're gonna beat dungeons. You're gonna get loot, and then what happens is, uh, you're gonna get this loot, and then it's gonna go to the guild. The guild is gonna automatically craft these, um, these items, and it's gonna automatically go on the market. Now, from what I understand, the market is gonna be a set price. Okay, so you can't undercut each other. You know, and that's that's one of the biggest problems in the markets in most games is that people just undercut. So you know, you put your item up for whatever, uh, five dollars. Let's just say someone's gonna put up. For for four dollars and eighty cents, then someone's going to put up for four dollars and fifty cents, and someone's going to put up for four dollars and twenty cents, and everyone just keeps undercutting, and people just go on and buy the lowest number, and everyone's always getting undercut. And this one, you can't do that, from what I understand, is their set prices. They're going to go up. I don't know exactly how that's going to work, because what happens if there's five thousand of a certain axe that you uh, you want to buy, and there's five thousand of them, and, and they're all on the market for the same price? How does it determine who sells theirs? I have no idea about that yet, but once I figure all that stuff out, I will definitely. Uh, make some more videos on that in the future. So 
All right, so this is this is what I want to talk about. So this is a mobile only game, I believe. At first, I don't know if it's going to turn into PC or anything else. I'm not 100 about that, but there's going to be pros and cons to that, right? Uh, mobile gaming. Not a lot of people like. Uh, here's a, a lot of people love mobile gaming, and a lot of people are kind of they have this like weird view on mobile gaming, like it's not real gaming. Uh, again, I'm a mobile gamer myself. I love it. I think it's phenomenal. I think the easy access. There's going to be pros and cons to mobile game to being uh, for this game to be on a mobile game. Uh, the pros easy access you could get it anywhere you could get it uh you could play it in your bed you can play it on your couch you could play it outside you could play it on the bus you could play it wherever you are you could play it on the beach wherever you want to play this game you can play it easy accessibility that is massive to me that's what i love about mobile games you're bored you throw on your phone you play a couple rounds of whatever and i like that that's what i love about it but then there's the cons uh side of it as well is you know batteries your battery's gonna die, you're always plugged into the wall or whatever, uh, does it overheat your phone? I've played games before where you know it, was, it would overheat your phone and uh, you know it didn't work too well. So there, are, there definitely are uh, pros and cons uh, to being on, a, on the mobile uh, network, but I personally think it's absolutely amazing and I've been waiting, I've been waiting for something like this personally. Uh, okay, so there's always things I always ask about play to earn games, okay? Um, would this, so there's all these play to earn games are coming out now. There's a ton of them. Like there's just, they're coming out like crazy now. I think people are starting to catch on about it. And one of the things I always ask is if this wasn't a play to earn game, would it be good enough for me to play? Like, would it be a game I want to play or am I only playing it because of the play to earn aspect? That's a question I always ask myself when I start getting involved in, in a, in a project. And again, my answer is yes. I think this will be a, a very, not just good enough game, but absolutely blowing it out of the water. I think the gameplay is gonna be fun. Again, it's a dungeon crawler. Now I'm speaking for myself personally. I absolutely love that stuff. So yes, for me, not only am I only playing this, you know, because there's a potential to make money on it and, and you're not just playing to play, you're playing to actually earn uh, as well as having fun. And that's the biggest battle I feel like when you're playing a game and it just becomes stale or you're playing a game because there's play to earn on it, but you're not actually enjoying it, that, that defeats the purpose. So to me with Gilded Guardians, the fact that it is, uh, it seems like a very fun game and there's a play to earn aspect, I think that's absolutely amazing. And, uh, and, and I'm all for that. I'm all for that. All right, now I want to get into the heroes a little bit. Uh, there's different heroes, there's different factions, there's different rarities, there's blending, there's going to be all this stuff uh, getting in there. There's pets, there's so much to talk about. Um, there's different factions like Empire and Horde and uh, Glade and I don't know, there's a few different... Uh, um, factions okay and then there's also elements there's element aspects in it as well uh which is like you know dark fire water light there's all these different elements and they're all going to different things so you're going to need you know some dungeons you might need a light character you know might do a little bit more damage or more effective or whatever uh things like that so that's how they're kind of they're going to try to get you to get all the different heroes and stuff which is great i think that's a great way to do it i think that's actually really really neat um and you know and then there's like things like pets how important are these pets there's a hunter there's a scout and there's um hunter scout and something else maybe warriors i don't remember but basically they all do different things one it's like you get better drops at the end or more drops at the end uh they all do they all do something different so i think that's another neat uh, concept they're putting in there is that basically they're um you know, you get these pets, it's going to help you out. Yes, they cost a little bit of money. They're not too too expensive. You can get commons for like 30 bucks or something. It's not too, too, too bad. And, and then we have the different rarities of the, the heroes. You got uh, rare, epic, uh, legendary, mythic, which I'll get into all of that in a minute. Uh, I'll show you what I have. I don't have, you know, I'm, I'm not a, a whale by any means, not even close. Uh, I'm just kind of, you know, dipping in for now, but I will be getting more as, as time goes on. So speaking of that, let me show you. I want to talk about a few things here and let me show you what I have. And then I will show you, um, they had a promotional uh, event where an NRG um, hero was put onto the marketplace and you could have bought that and there was a whole, uh, you know, contest behind that. And I really want to dive into that and explain it all. And I want to know your thoughts on that because, you know, I have my thoughts on it and I don't think it went as planned, uh, but I will get into that in uh, a minute. Okay, so first I want to show you guys um, the concept art. This was the concept art. It's the NRG hero. Uh, I believe you see on the on the on the sword. There's NRG on it. That's the hero. It's beautiful. Uh, it is a very very nice hero. You got to give him that. Uh, very very good hero. Now they did a contest. Okay, and how they did this, I, you know, I'm, I don't know how I feel about the whole thing. To be very very honest with you, here it is. So they had a contest. 
for um you had a chance to win this mythic uh mythic reborn that's the name of the hero is reborn you had a, a, a chance to win there was one of one there's only one of these here it is that's a mythic it's selling for 65 ETH right now, which, I mean, nobody's bought it. So, it, you know, you can put it up for whatever you want. It's only worth of what it sells, right? So maybe it's worth that. Maybe it's worth more. Maybe it's worth less. I don't know. But that's what it's going up for right now. And actually, I think they put it down. I think it was higher uh, last night when I was looking at it. Anyway, uh, besides the point. So how the sale worked was they had 24 hours. Uh, There's no, there's unlimited amounts. Unlimited amount of this hero, but you only had 24 hours to sell. Um I kind of, in a way, I like it, and I kind of, in a way, I don't, because you don't know how many are going to be minted. You have no idea. But I will tell you something. I think they really messed up this entire sale. I think there was potential to it. I think there was potential for them to make a ton of money. So what happened was, um, once this thing, so I think it was like within an hour or two, this one got minted. So they were selling, they went live, they started selling, started selling. This gets minted an hour or two in. So what does that do? What do you think that does to the price? Or what do you think that does to people that wanted to buy this? It's gone. So it literally took out all the whales that would have just mass bought these in order to get this. So an hour or two into the sale, this gets picked and everyone's like, well, there's no more, no point in me buying a bunch of these. So I think that really, 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 really hurt the sales. I personally, the way I think they should have done it. Now, this is my personal opinion. I think they should have had 24 hours to sell. You sell as many as you want. Everyone buys whatever you want. At the end, for every one you bought, you basically get a raffle ticket. Okay. So you would get a raffle ticket. And then at the end of the 24 hours, they do a draw that way people would have bought, you know, maybe 10 of them, maybe 20 of them, you know, or more people would have bought in to know they still had a chance to get this. But when it's an hour or two into the, into the event and the main prize is gone, people are like, yeah, I'll just buy my one hero or eh, maybe I don't want it after all kind of thing. So I think they really, really, really dropped the ball on that. I think they should have done a draw or maybe, I don't know, I, I think the draw is the best bet, or maybe not even just, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, but it's just, um, it, 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 it really, I think they, they, they didn't sell nearly enough uh, or nearly as much as they wanted. Here's the other thing. What does that do though? So now I look at it two ways. You can look at it that way and you can look at it the other way. So because not as many people bought it, now there's less in circulation. I think they only sold 4,500 or something like that. I don't know the exact number, but there's now less in circulation. So there's two ways to look at it. People, yeah, they would have mass bought them to get this, so they would have made more sales, but there would have been way more of these heroes in the market. By the hero being plucked right away, less people bought it. There are less of these heroes in the market, which makes them rarer. So how do you look at it? it was it a success? Was it not a success? I don't know. I personally, again, I say I think they should have done a draw and that would have been the best bet, I think, to, to get more hype around it and more sales towards it uh, personally. So that is this one here. But I want to show you that this is just a one of one. This is kind of like, you know, extreme. But let's look at um, here. Let's look at the price. So um, they're going for 0 0.094 ETH, which is like 350-ish bucks around there uh, as of right now. And that's what they were selling for in the 24-hour event. So you can get it for like 350 bucks. Is that a good price? I don't know. I don't know. It, time will tell. Personally, I love these kind of heroes. This is my type of hero. Uh, whenever I play any kind of game, I love the, the two-hander, go in, just kind of, you know, take no prisoners, mad DPS, and you're in their face. I love that style or dual wield, whatever it is. I like to, to be up close when I play and uh, do it like that. So this is the hero. It is a beautiful hero. It is the cheapest legendary on the market. Now, why is that? Um, so if you look now, I have it set to legendary, lowest to high, ETH. Here we go. And I'm just scrolling and all you see is these energy heroes uh, for a while. And then eventually, you know, something will pop up. But yeah, look at this. It's just flooded with them. It's just flooded with these on the lowest uh, on the market, you know? So, it, you know, you can keep scrolling and it's a while till you'll see uh, something different. But anyway, um, was it a success? I don't know. I don't know. And why is it so cheap? A lot of these other heroes are, you know, $1,100 or $1,500. So why is one legendary considered $1,500 and this one considered, you know, $300? Yes, it's not a founder. It's not part of the founder at all. It doesn't have that founder title. So that is a big thing of it. But why such a big gap? Um, 
you know, I, I don't know. So, um, it's a legendary. So if you're looking to get into the legendary and, and you don't want to, you know, spend eleven, twelve hundred dollars, this is your best bet. But again, it is, you know, a two-hander. I don't know if that's your style of play. Lucky for me it is. I may pick one of these up. Um I may pick it up. I may pick it up. Okay, so I want to show a few things here. So here's some uh concept art. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is Queen of the Frost Mire. I love it. This is concept art. Uh very beautiful. I love concept art. I mean, obviously, when it comes into play, it always looks a little different, but I love this stuff. So there's some concept art. Uh, another thing I want to talk about here is, look at this. This is the avatars. Here's the thing. Here's the thing with the avatars. We don't know what they do. I know they did a giveaway recently. Um, you know, they actually, that's one thing I want to talk about. They've been very generous. Uh, the G Guilds of G GOG uh, community, they have been absolutely nothing short of generous um they've hooked up the community a lot uh they did an airdrop okay they did an airdrop and they gave away i don't even remember how much it was tons of tokens tons of stuff uh people made thousands of dollars on it i had a couple of buddies that made you know a few dollars off of it for sure and then there's the whales out there that made a ton of money um you know it, that, listen i i agree with that stuff now i didn't get to get a chance to uh get in on the founders sale i missed it myself which is too bad but i understand and appreciate what they did to the people that did get into it because you know it's it's basically saying thank you for believing in us so people put m their own money from their pocket into a game before anybody believed in it. And it's like, thank you for helping us get here. And I, I think that's, uh, you know, I think that's that's generous. And I think that's, you know, okay. Uh, even though I wasn't part of the founder sale and I didn't get any airdrops, I still believe that's a very nice move and a good move uh, for the company to do that because it's saying thank you for helping us. And you know what? You, you know, it's it never hurts to say thank you. I know some people or kind of whatever about it they feel like they got you know they got left out but hey you know what i'm one of the ones that technically got left out and i don't feel left out i i i think they did a great job so i just want to say they did an absolute great job with the airdrop now now there's these things called uh profile pictures they come in and, and they did a draw with them now there's other profile pictures in other companies or other projects like um board apes i believe if you have one of theirs you get like bananas every month or something like that and there's other projects that do something similar i'm not saying that's what these guys are going to do i have no idea what these avatars are going to do but i know that these avatars got you into a draw you just had to take a, change your profile picture to your avatar basically post it on their tweet and boom you're entered into their draw that's amazing see th that stuff that's what i love that's what community is about and they get it they understand and i love that so you can get some like this is a basic one this is just a random one i found on the market but then you can get into these like crazy ones like look at this thing man you know what i mean like that's a profile picture <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you want this one you, you know you get one of these that's fine you know but then you look at this and you're like yeah you know i'd rather this one right so they're, they're pretty cool there's different rarities on them i don't know man am i gonna buy one i don't know um I, I think it's a cool thing but if there's no value to them and there's no reason to have it i'm not gonna spend you know 70 dollars 80 dollars on a on a profile picture just that's not my thing but maybe there is value to it i don't know yet and maybe you know i'll kick myself down the road for it you know i don't know so um but yeah i wanted to show you guys this is so beautiful um and yeah you know here uh, and uh, i just want to say personally i am going to be getting into this game uh, big time. Oh, before I go, I want to show you this. Uh, here's my inventory. Again, I am by no means a whale. I want to tell you right now, I don't even have a legendary. I got my Arya, uh, the mage. Uh, and, and here's the thing. I'll, I'll play a mage. I'm okay with that. Normally, I like the, you know, like I said, the two-handers and all that stuff. But I will play a mage. I did pick up an energy token. I want to talk about this a little bit, actually, before I, I, I get off track here. These, I think, are going to be very important, okay? I think right now they're very undervalued. Uh, I bought mine, I think, for like 320 bucks, which is a lot of money, which is a lot of money. But I think these things are going to absolutely skyrocket because, um, listen, I don't think there's only so many of them out there. There's only so many of them out there. And what it does, uh, basically what happens, uh, from what I understand, is you're going to be using your heroes. They're going to be, you know, getting fatigued. This booster makes it i think where you're not getting as fatigued or fatigued as fast and you can basically play your hero more and more and more uh so if you have like your favorite hero or your best hero you can keep using it from what we understand we are not 100 percent on it but what we understand is basically to let you play with your hero more 
um, and all that stuff. And here you go. I got a pet here. This is my pet. It's a hunter, which I think at the end of the dungeon, I think what this one does at the end of the dungeon, you get more loot or better loot or something like that along those lines. Um, again, I'm not super familiar with everything, but this is what I got. So I, I by no means... I don't have, you know, I'm, I'm no whale. I wish, I wish I had more. I mean, obviously, but you know, I've already put in the money for the the energy booster, and then I had this. Actually, one of my buddies, shout out to my boy Bal, uh, for hooking me up with this with Aria. Thank you very much. I got this from a giveaway uh, or signing up for another project that was tied in, and it's a rare insignia. I don't know what it does. I have absolutely no idea what it does. And then I got my pet. So I bought the pet. I bought the booster. Uh, I don't have a legendary, as you see, but. I do want to, I most likely will pick up the NRG one simply because, you know, it is my style of play and, you know, it's 300 bucks rather than, you know, $1,300. So um, that's kind of my play right now. And I want to see what happens from here. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not even sure how the, the play to earn aspect even is in play. It, you know, do I put the $300 in the hero? Can I make that back? How hard is it to even make that back? You know, is it worth putting the money towards that hero? So uh, only time will tell. But I just want to say, guys, I want to say thank you if you're still watching this. Thank you very much for making it this far. I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be making a ton of Guild of Guardian videos, an absolute ton of them as time goes on, as we learn more, as the game gets released. Um, I will be leaning in on this, um, this game absolutely. So... If you're part of the Guild of Guardians community, please let me know below. Let me know what heroes you have. Uh, did you buy the booster? Did you not? What are your thoughts on the booster? What are your thoughts on the pets? Let me know everything in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming. Um, we do stream six nights a week. And once this game is released, I 1000% will be streaming this. Um, absolutely. Um, oh, there's one more thing I want to show you. There's one more thing I want to show you before I go. All right, so before I go, it's one thing I want to show you before I go. One, before I go, here we go. This is gameplay footage. So if anybody here has played Minecraft Dungeons, you're going to see it's very familiar to that. Very, It, it looks just like it uh, the, from the maps to the enemies to the play style. Now, this is pre-alpha uh, footage. Uh, but here you go. This is a little bit right there that you get to see and it looks just just like it So if you don't know what Minecraft Dungeons is look that up I actually played that a lot and uh, Was one of the highest levels in that uh, game when it first came out absolutely by a lot I used to play it all through the night It was one of those games So if it's anything like that, I know how addictive this is gonna be and you're in for a treat So I just wanted to get that out there, but guys, thank you again uh, twitch.tv slash Capone Gaming, where I do stream six nights a week. Come by, say what's up. Let me know that you play this game. I really want to get to know the community in and out. I am an ambassador for uh, Guild of Guardians. I, they accepted me in their Discord. This is my first video that I put out, and I'm planning on making a ton more. So get used to me. Get to know me, baby, because you're going to be seeing a lot of me if you're into this stuff. I love you. I'm out of here. Have a great night. Happy New Year, everybody. And we'll see you on the field. Peace.